Hi, my name is Dr. Carol Thompson and I'm the programme leader for the Applied Animal Science and Animal Welfare Science BSc courses. The Applied Animal Science and Animal Welfare Science degree programmes are for those who are passionate about animals and about science and about how we use science to improve the health, welfare and productivity of the animals in our care. So a particular highlight of the course is our engagement with industry. We incorporate visits to relevant industry sites and visits from guest speakers to really highlight the opportunities available to you as graduates. We do this to help you kickstart your career by building a network early on that will really help you once you graduate. And in year three, we have a whole module dedicated to enhancing your application skills and really increasing the number of, of industry guests that you have access to. Hi, my name is Laura and I study Applied Animal Science at Edinburgh King's Building Campus. So some of the highlights for me, I regularly get to interact with animals. We've been on a trip the past four weeks, every single week. We have got to practice handling snakes, handling guinea pigs, rabbits, horses, all sorts of things. Another highlight is I now have the opportunity to participate in some ongoing behavioural research. And as a second year, that's really exciting. You will study anything you can imagine relating to animals. We look at ethics in our animal and society module. We've looked at neurology in the animal behavior modules, even coding in a data science module as well, which seems daunting, but it's actually quite fun. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm a third year applied animal science student at SRUC at King's Buildings in Edinburgh. If you're passionate about animals, studying applied animal science or animal welfare science at SRUC uh, provides you great opportunities and insight and access to some of the, the world's best tutors, the world's best researchers. My experience of studying applied animal science at SRUC has been fantastic. 